and welcome to the FWI News Review. Coming up this week, the GM debate begins again, we put tough phones to the test, and Farmers Weekly readers are hit by snow. The debate over GM food needs to be reopened if the UK is to have secure food supplies in future. A report by think tank Chatham House says market volatility means the UK needs better planning if it's going to meet demands for food. This could mean we'll have to eat more GM food, while organic production might have to be cut. NFU President Peter Kendall says the report shows the government needs to look at weaknesses in the domestic supply chain as soon as it can. This week saw the first half of the last ever spring bull sale at Perth. Jonathan Long was there to catch all the action. Aberdeen Angus led the trade this week in Perth with a top price of 24,000 guineas achieved for Lockerley Legolas from Banana King, Leonard Van Geest of the Lockerley Herd, Hampshire. This one sold in a two-way split to John Elliott of the Rawburn Herd, Kelso and Alistair Fraser of the Idvis Herd, Forfa. Next best was a 22,000 guinea sale for Lauraba Blackstar, my pick of the week, forward from the Montgomery family. This one was snapped up by Tom Arnott of the Haymount Herd, also Kelso. Among the limousines on offer, it was the first this week with a black limousine bull taking the championship and official society sale for the first time ever. This one was Newhouse Black Colorado from the Newhouse herd of Bob and Drew Adam. Buying this one was commercial producer Keith Ewanson of Orkney. Second best among the limbs was a red bull also from Newhouse, Newhouse Casino. This one sold to commercial producer Alistair MacArthur of Dingwall. For more news and pictures from Perth, go to FWI co.uk forward slash taking stock. Much of the UK has been hit by Arctic weather this week, with the south of England grinding to a halt after heavy snowstorms. Isabel Davies reports from the FWI forums. The weather has dominated the Farmer's Weekly office in recent days. Here in Surrey, we got about 13 inches of snow, which at least made for a nice view from the 16th floor. Here's one picture I took. But it did mean only four people out of about 25 managed to get in on Monday, which wasn't quite so good. The snow hasn't caused the same kind of chaos elsewhere, but there was enough to lead to a flurry of pictures. AK sent this stunning picture of suckler cows feeding on the North Yorkshire moors. Meanwhile, Caterpillar 95 sent us this shot of sugar beet being lifted after four inches of snow in East Anglia. He said the ground hadn't frozen, so the harvester coped well in the chilly conditions. But my personal favourite picture of the week has to be this one from Crazy Sheep. It shows one of her grey-faced Dartmoor lambs which needed the assistance of a lamb mac when the snow hit Dorset. It really is very cute. Just don't let my colleagues on the livestock desk hear me saying something so sappy. For more pictures, visit fwi.co.uk forward slash febsnow. And finally, have you ever ruined your mobile phone by dropping it in a bucket of water or bouncing it from a tractor? If so, Tim Ralph may have the answer to your telephone woes. Mobile phones. We've all got them and we couldn't manage without them. They're especially vital on farms. But the one thing that is absolutely infuriating is when the wretched things pack up. So, we've got hold of four of the so-called toughest phones and done all sorts of unpleasant and unsavoury things to them on farms. We've used them next to angle grinders, we've put them in freezers, we've run them over on ATVs, we've <coughs> dropped them from great heights in a, in a bid to come up with a verdict on which is the best phone to use in farming. So we want to hear your stories of the particularly nasty fates that have befallen your phones. We've even got a few of these super tough phones to give away. So get in touch, tell us your stories. FWI.co dot uk forward slash phone comp that's it from me this week to read more on all these stories and for all the latest news go to fwi.co.uk